Hi everyone and welcome back to another Q&A Thursday with myself, Orla and Jacob. So this week's topic is all about the TikTok app ban in the US and how the chief executive has now quit. So before we start, like usual, remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel, which is just called Mustang Marketing, as well as following us on all of our socials to keep up to date with our new content. And during this video, remember to comment in the comment box your thoughts on this topic, any questions you might have, and myself and Jacob will be more than happy to discuss that. So to start with, in the past couple of weeks, talks regarding TikTok's safety and security when handling data has been questioned, with many leaders showing some concerns about this. And the president, Donald Trump, has announced that on the 1st of August, TikTok will be out of business in the US. So consequently, this is a rising threat of the US ban on TikTok has now led Kevin Mayer, TikTok's chief executive, to quit earlier today. But on the 29th of June, the government in India, they also, they banned the TikTok app and along with 58 other Chinese mobile apps due to security reasons. So I'm not sure if you've seen this in the news, but India have said that they've made the decision to ban these apps as they've been apparently using data illegally whilst collecting information from users' phones without them knowing. But the head of TikTok in India, um, they stated that, that TikTok does actually comply with the data privacy and security obligations from the Indian law and that they don't share information with any other government. So as I'm sure you can tell, this has caused quite a confusion and the people in India are now asking for similar apps for them to use that are similar to TikTok. So let us know, do you use TikTok and do you think other countries are going to start banning TikTok as well? because it's something that is being talked about a lot on the news. So other countries might, you know, join on that and look into it more. And do you think these countries that have decided to ban TikTok, do you think they're making the right decision? So what do you think about this, Jacob? Um, well, I, I think it is the right decision if, if there's a security issue with it. Um, like there is in India, if they're taking people's data without them knowing, obviously, it, it should be banned or it should be, you know, limited or, you know, the, it shouldn't, it shouldn't be, it shouldn't have access to all these people's information. Um, and I think if, if there are, if there is evidence of it, you know, being malicious and taking data without them knowing, I think it is the right decision to shut them down. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so well, do you think um, TikTok would be banned in the UK then? Well, at the moment, the UK government is being put under pressure, especially by the US, to ban TikTok here as well. And it has been said that there is some concern regarding various Chinese companies and the possible risk. However, it is very unlikely that there will be a full ban of TikTok here in the UK. And the decision made in the US isn't going, apparently it's not going to influence our government's decision here. And Matt Navarro, who is a social media consultant and industry expert, he said that the US may have a different rationale in relation to its approach to buying TikTok over there and its issues with other Chinese companies. So do you think TikTok should be banned in the UK? Um, personally, if, as I said before, if there's a security issue with it, if it, um, you know, TikTok is found to be taking people's data in, within the UK uh, without them knowing, then yeah, I think, I think there should be uh, a ban. But um, other than that, I, I don't think, I think it's quite harmless. Uh, but as I say, if there are issues with security, then, um, then I think it should be banned. Um, which kind of takes us on to, um, you know, should we trust uh, social media platforms with our data? Um, so obviously, uh, as everyone knows, social media has taken over our lives. We're recording this on Facebook. Um, you know, millions and millions of people are using Facebook daily. Um, and quite a lot of people are, 
you know, worrying about sharing the data with these multi-million dollar, uh, you know, social media platforms. Uh, they're worrying about the safety. They're worrying, you know, uh, is my data going to be sold to someone else? Mm. Um, and, you know, question, questioning the security of your data isn't actually that ridiculous. You know, that there have been quite a lot of scandals and um, quite a lot of situations where data has been, you know, taken uh, without knowledge or leaked without knowledge. Um, anyone watching, you, you probably remember the uh, Cambridge Analytica scandal in 2018. Um, so that was... Uh, a, a data breach on Facebook. Uh, it saw millions of people's uh, data being leaked from Facebook and then it was uh, harvested by Cambridge Analytica. Um, so this is people's data that they didn't know was being taken from them and then it was used by another company to, um, to be used in targeted political ads. Um, so obviously this is a big deal. This is people's personal information being sold by or being leaked by these massive companies um, and, and people don't really have much trust um, with, with these companies because they don't know what's going uh, what's happening um, yeah. and another issue was um, regarding uh, Huawei the Chinese tech company um, the UK has just recently decided to ban their 5g technology um, throughout the whole of the UK uh, and this is again over security issues. This is um, because people on mobile phones and communication networks might actually become vulnerable if they use this five G technology, uh, and they might become victim to spying or uh, disrupt communication stuff like that. Um, so, anyone watching, what do you think? Do you think we should be trusting these social media uh, platforms? Do you think the stuff that's happened in the past is you know, it could happen anytime, or do you think, you know, mistakes, mistakes were made and different social media have different like uh, protocols, stuff like that, that stop this stuff from happening. What do you think? Um, Ola, do you, do you uh, trust these social media platforms or do you think it, it's a bit risky giving them all your data? Yeah, I think I'm a bit unsure on it because we, I feel like as a user of social media, not really made, it's not made clear, you know, yeah. exactly how much information they are storing and what they do with that. Like on my Instagram, on my Twitter, my Facebook, I don't know what they're doing with my data. I have no idea. Yeah. And, you know, as well, I don't fully trust them, especially because I've heard things about Instagram, for example, say you're receiving abuse or some negativity on Instagram or say there's someone making a fake account yeah. you can report that but there's no one to call there's no one really to email yeah. or contact yeah. I feel like these people working for these companies but as a user you really struggle to reach out for help if you need it or if you need that support or you need someone to ask answer your questions so I have I don't know. I feel like I don't fully trust them, but at the same time, that's not going to stop me from using it. I'm just careful with what I post and yeah. I don't put all my personal, personal information on them. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I completely agree. I think, you know, you shouldn't really be putting everything on there, but um, social media is too good of a tool not to use. Um, yeah and everyone's using it so you would be you know a bit stupid not to use it you know and especially um, for businesses too yeah yeah um but with all this discussion about tiktok being banned and um you know what might take its place as the the new social media app that everyone's using um the, there are quite quite a limited number of uh you know competitors that could take over uh tiktok in terms of being the new app um but quite a, quite a few people are speculating that byte might take over uh and byte is is similar yeah. to TikTok. it's a uh, it's a short form video uh creation app um it was created in 2020 i think in in january and 
it's it's been up for a while now, but it's it's not really up there with TikTok just yet. Um, so it was it was released in Jan and it, it got about one point three million uh, downloads by April. Um, now, obviously, this this is good for any app uh, getting that many downloads, but compared to TikTok, which was at two billion at the time, it's just not on the same level. Um, so people are skeptical about, you know, would people move on to this app? Uh, I personally, I feel that it's not very um, business friendly, right? Whereas TikTok is fairly business friendly. Um, I feel like TikTok was at the point where it was, you know, starting to become a more professional app like uh, Instagram, which business, yeah. uh, businesses could take advantage of. Um, but then saying that, um, Byte is the replacement for Vine, which was a very uh, a very popular app uh, until that was uh, taken down in 2016. Um, but you know, it's got history with Vine. It runs on a similar system, so it could it could have potential. Um, mm -hmm. But anyone watching, what do you think? Do you think Byte will take uh, TikTok's place? Do you think you know? TikTok was it, nothing's going to happen after that. What do you think, Ola? Do you think anything's going to take over? I don't necessarily think something's going to replace TikTok because in the past, you know, there was Facebook before Instagram and Instagram has come along and Facebook is still going side by side next to Instagram. Yeah. Maybe Instagram is doing better now, but they are two different platforms. So yeah. I feel like... There's nothing that will completely replace it. It'll just be an, an additional app, like a new app, because, you know, there's, things are always changing. In the future, in 10 years' time, there could be five new apps, you know, and we, right now, we don't know what they're going to be like. I yeah. personally had never heard of Byte before, but as well, TikTok is also really similar to Vine, and I yeah. think people enjoy the convenience of just scrolling down and watching short easy entertaining videos so yeah. I definitely do think there'll be something similar but I just don't think it will be fully replaced yeah yeah no I completely agree yeah yeah so if anyone else has any more questions or ju you just want to tell us your thoughts and opinions on this please comment them down below and we'll be happy to reply to them or we'll even feature them in a new video next week so thank you so much for watching another q a thursday and don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel as always and share all of our social media thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next week thank you bye